Hello everyone, I'm Li Su from Alibaba. In this talk, I will present the Alibaba Hologrides, a cloud-native service for hybrid servant analytical processing. First of all, I will explain what is the HCI scenario using a recommendation system in Alibaba. The recommendation system makes personalized recommendation for users. This scenario combines multiple data ingestion and query workloads. First, the system ingests a huge amount of user activity events in real time. These events include page views, user clicks from the log system, and payment records from OLTP databases. The ingestion rate is quite high, which could be tens of millions of events per second or even more. And most of the ingested data are not transactional. For instance, the log, the page views, and the user clicks. While being ingested, these events are also used to generate continuous feature updates to empower real-time recommendation. There are many two types of features, which are real-time feature and derived feature. To generate a real-time feature, the incoming events are directly joined with dimension data, which is a typical serving scenario requiring high throughput and low latency point lookups to catch up with the high-speed ingestion. Second, the system uses sliding window aggregates on the ingested data to generate derived features of different dimensions and time granularities. For instance, the five minute clicks of an item or its seven day page views. The derived features are written back, well bulk load and pushed into the recommendation system. Besides recommendation, this data are also used in ad hoc analytical queries to support our business intelligence system. The above demonstrate a highly complex HCAP scenario, ranging from real-time ingestion to bulk load, from server workload, interactive analysis to batch aggregate. Currently, this scenario is usually served with multiple isolated systems, such as Cassandra and HBase for Southern, Hive for batch aggregate, and Greenplum for interactive analysis. Such a solution causes excessive data duplication and complex data synchronization across systems, and also incurs non-trivial development overheads. We need a unified HTAP solution to solve these problems. Compared with OLIP and HTYPE, the HTAP scenario poses very different requirements on system design and optimization. First, HTAP system must be able to ingest high-speed incoming data in real time. As mentioned in the last slide, the ingestion rate is very high and only a small portion of the data are imported from front-end OLTP database. For instance, tens or even hundreds of page views may trigger one purchase transaction. It is clear that data ingestion in each site is less transactional, and its volume is way bigger than that in typical H-type scenario. Data ingestion in each site has also to be conducted in real time to guarantee data freshness. The lengthy ETL precise in OLAP solutions is no longer acceptable. Second, the query workloads in each type system are hybrid, including serving and analytical queries. Compared to pure OLAP workloads, the concurrency of serving queries is orders of magnitude higher. Because serving and analytical workloads have very different SLOs, the system should be able to guarantee resource isolation, such that smaller serving queries will not be blocked by large-scale analytical queries. According to the above observations, we argue that hybrid servant and analytical processing should be unified and handled in a single system. In Alibaba, we built a cloud-native HCAP service called Holograss. Holograss is better tested in Alibaba's Double Eleven Shopping Festival, maybe one of the most challenging big data scenarios on this planet. During the Double Eleven day, the highest ingestion rate recorded in Holograss is 130 million tuples per second. And the peak query workload is 145 million queries per second. Under such a high workload pressure, Holograss can achieve second or even sub-second level latency between the time when data are generated and the instance where they become queryable to rates. We also compared Holograss with specialized systems for analytical processing and serving respectively. For analytical processing, the latency performance of Holograss is 10 times better than Greenplum. And as for serving workload, Holograss is 57 times faster than HBase. Holograss also guarantees resource isolation 
which helps to fulfill the different SLOs of servant and analytical queries. Even with a large number of concurrent analytical queries executing in the background, Holograis can still achieve a steady and low latency for servant queries. How could Holograis achieve the above performance? Next, I will present you the system design of Holograis. The compute and storage layers are decoupled in Holograis. Worker node is a basic unit of computation resources. Tables are partitioned into fine grained shards and persisted in a distributed file system. In this design, each layer can be elastically scaled up and down independently upon any workload changes. To enable flexible scaling up and down of the system, Holograis adopts a shard-based storage layout. Tables in Holograis are grouped into table groups. Each table group is horizontally partitioned into table group shards. Table group shards are mapped to worker nodes and can be dynamically migrated to achieve load balancing across worker nodes. In a table group shard, the base data and the indexes of each table are uniformly maintained as independent tablets. As Holograis is designed to support both servant and analytical queries, tablets can be stored as either a row tablet or a column tablet. Different from many existing systems, all tablets in a table group shard are updated simultaneously to guarantee data freshness. Now let's have a look at table group shard. As a basic unit of data management in Holograis, the table group shard mainly consists of a write ahead log manager and a set of tablets. To decouple reads and writes, tablets are uniformly managed as LSM trees where records are versioned. Each tablet has a memory table in the worker node and a set of immutable shard files persisted in the distributed file system. Because reads and writes are decoupled, a table group shard can have one writer and any number of concurrent readers. This allows for non-blocking query execution on the high throughput data ingestion. To fully utilize the high parallelism in many core architecture and the network bandwidth, writes and reads in a table group shard are further parallelized into fine-grained work units, which is the basic unit of computation in Holograis. A write operation can be decomposed into a synchronization work unit, which performs log-relevant operations, and a set of parallel work units, each of which writes in a tablet. Read operations can be parallelized in a similar way as writes. Queries are also parallelized into work units. For non-leaf operators, the query optimizer specifies each of them a static degree of parallelism. For leaf operator that reads from a distributed file system to improve the utilization of network bandwidth, it can be at most parallelized into as many work units as the total number of shard files to read. Existing OLIP and H-type systems generally use a precise or thread-based concurrency model and rely on the operating system to schedule concurrent queries. The expensive context switching cost by this design puts a hard limit on the system concurrency. To solve this problem, Holograis provides a user space thread called execution context to abstract the system thread. Work units are mapped to execution contexts and are cooperatively scheduled by the execution context they belong to. On the other hand, execution contexts are cooperatively scheduled by system threads with little context switching overhead. This design lays the foundation for high concurrency query execution in Holograis. And there is a host scheduler which balances execution context across system threads. To achieve resource isolation across queries, we propose scheduling group as a virtual resource abstraction. In brief, the execution contexts of different queries are grouped into independent scheduling groups. Each scheduling group has a share of resources, and execution context can only consume the resources of its own scheduling group. Here are some takeaways to conclude this talk. With modern business becoming increasingly real-time and complex, HSAP emerges as an important paradigm in industry. In Alibaba, we build Holograis, a cloud-native HSAP service. Holograis can handle high-throughput data ingestion high concurrency hybrid query workloads, and is also compatible with the open source ecosystem. More information on the Holograis could be found in the following site. Thank you for watching.